OK. So ladies and gentlemen, what I'd like to do is show you how to use long division to divide u squared plus 5u minus 12 divided by u minus 3. So when applying long division, we have to use our long division algorithm, which means we're going to make this now look like actually our long division. So we'll have u minus 3 divides into u squared plus 5u minus 12. So we're going to write it like a long division problem. And we're just going to follow back through the algorithm, which is a little bit different when dealing with polynomials rather than numbers, but it's very similar. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our, always take our first term. We've got to make sure that it is in standard form. It's in a descending order that this is going to be your largest term. So therefore, I say u divides into u squared how many times? So Ken, if I wanted just to figure that out, I could just say u squared divided by u and say, what is that term? Well, u squared divided by u is equal to u, right? So u squared divides into u, I'm sorry, u divides into u squared u times, right? So your answer is there. Then the important thing about using long division is you need to make sure when you're not writing it down that you multiply u times both terms of your divisor. So u times u is going to be u squared. u times negative 3 is a negative 3u. Now, Wendy, what I like to tell students to do on this one, which is I think is very important because this is where a lot of students make their mistakes, is I like to tell them put parentheses around the second term and then subtract. Okay? And I'm putting parentheses around there for you to remember that you have to subtract both of these terms. And then I say it out loud. u squared minus u squared is 0u squared, which we know is just multiplies to 0. 5u minus a negative 3u, double negative, is now going to produce a positive 8u. Yes? No? Oh, okay. 5u minus 8u, right? Double negative or 3u. All right, so now we just say u. How many times is u divided into 8u? So you just do 8u divided by u. 8u divided by u equals 8. So u divides into 8u positive 8 times. Then again, we make sure we multiply this by both terms in our divisor. So 8 times u is 8u. 8 times negative 3 is a negative 24. Well, I don't have anything to subtract a negative 24 from, so I bring down the negative 12. Again, put in parentheses and subtract. 8u minus 8u is 0u. Negative 12 minus a negative 24 is going to be a positive 12. Then we say, does 12, does 12 can be divided by u? Which is, no, it's not possible. So therefore, our remainder is going to be 12 divided by our divisor. And that is your final answer. So our final answer is u plus 8 plus our remainder, which we write as the remainder divided by the divisor. OK? There we go. So that was my one example.